Cool TV proudly presents Kentucky Christian University softball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you coverage of the KCU Knights live from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to the Grayson Sports Park for KCU softball action live on Cool TV. Welcome to Grayson, Kentucky on a windy, warm Saturday afternoon. It is also senior day here for Kentucky Christian University softball nights. And Jacob looking around, big crowd on hand. And TMU has made the trip here to downtown Grayson. And uh, senior festivities will happen in between game one and game two. So, And they will actually happen on the field behind us. So once those games, uh, once today's first game ends, we're going to have to pack all this stuff up and turn around and go back to this field right behind us. And... Uh, but we will bring you today's Senior Day festivities live right here on Cool TV. So we'll take a break. We'll be back on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Puffin Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to offer. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Welcome back here on Cool TV as the managers and umpires meet behind home plate. Still about five or six minutes before the first pitch. Jacob, as we said, the wind is really whipping around here. When we first come in here today, whoever did it did a really good job of kind of wrapping the poles in red and white and putting balloons out and um, some really, really good decorations here for Senior Day. And the wind has since taken over and has popped every balloon except for one over here to our right. So um, it seems like the wind down here, at the, especially at this sports park, is a lot stronger than it would be normally anywhere else because where it's so flat, there's no, you know, there's no hills to block it. So it just comes right down on top of you. And But um, can't ask for... Besides that, better weather. Sunny skies, 65 degrees. Of course, TMU's in town. Looking at them real quick. 21 to 14 on the year, 15 and 7 in conference. This is a very good team coming in here to take on KCU. KCU, on the other hand, 10 and 22, 8 and 14 in conference. So, but it is Senior Day, and McConnell has a losing record on the road, 5 and 9 on the road. So, KCU trying to get some traction as U Pike's getting ready to come to town soon. So uh, we'll take another break. We'll be back on Cool TV. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College, 
This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here. Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. When you want real, authentic Hello, Mexican menu Rick items, Clark. you want Let Andres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. Zach. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashford, Green, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Andres Hermanos Nunez, the best. I'm April Perry, River Cities CEO Builders is a licensed Kentucky general contractor average, specializing in commercial and industrial projects, for over and they have years. a history and, and reputation of providing top-notch expertise to through their experience and devoted you are workforce. A River City, home, buying a car, all bears, and your own KCU Knights. Today is Senior Day. On behalf of both schools playing here today. We are grateful for the dedication and discipline they have shown in tackling the challenging task of being a student and an athlete. Please let's take a moment, moment now to honor the five seniors of the Truett McConnell Bears and the six seniors at your Kentucky Christian University Knights with an enthusiastic round of applause. Both schools are members of the NAIA and the Appalachian Athletic Conference, and we are committed to the true spirit of competition, embracing the five core values, respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and sportsmanship. We ask each of you to abide by these values and help create a positive, competitive environment. Enjoy today's contest. And now, before our starting lineups, we'd like to honor first the seniors of our visiting team from the Truett McConnell Bears. First is number 11, Haley Cronick. Number 22, Kendall Gibson. Number 8, Ashley Lawson. Number 0, Kylie Sanders. And finally, number 9, Emma Vessel. Please give one more round of applause for the Truett McConnell University seniors. And now to throw out today's first pitches, let's honor your Kentucky Christian University. If you can picture yourself in a better job, good at Ashland. Uh, first we have Mallory Alford, and catching is her dad. And Tori Breckler, catching is her dad. Caroline Donathan, catching is her dad. Jaron Holtzclaw, catching is her nephew. Caitlin Lavis, catching is her dad. And finally, AC Prince, catching is her dad. 
and they will be throwing out the first pitch simultaneously on my signal. Are we ready? On my count. One, two, three, pitch. Let's give another round of applause for them. Our KCU seniors today will be honored immediately following our first game today. But let them know how much you appreciate them when they are announced in the lineup. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Fall hunting season is here. Border Sporting Goods has your best selection of Hoyt and Matthews bows as well as 10-point crossbows with a full selection of accessories for all your hunting needs. Borders also offers a full selection of shotguns and rifles with plenty of ammunition and reloading supplies along with a wide selection of benchmark and case knives. Borders is your headquarters for the largest selection of Liberty gun safes in the area no matter how big or small you need to keep your firearms safe. Before your next hunting excursion, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu JD items, you Florida, want great Germanos Nunez, except no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. And a kid's menu, no desserts and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Great Germanos Nunez, the best. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Road, Farmers Greenup. Bank. On average, our employees County have been with Library Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 best. years, and that Read is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. CD. Whether you, you are financing a new home, movies, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank for all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Kentucky Farmers Bank.com. Member FDIC and Greenup County Lenny. Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out here Let's on Cool TV. For today's they just announced field. tonight's uh, or Chuck today's lineups. Beagle and Mark Brown. I believe we're going to get a Brown word of prayer. And and Chuck Beagle is in today's the national anthem. Please rise and move your hats for the opening prayer, followed by the national anthem performed by Mallory Alford. Let's bow our heads. Uh, dear God, we thank you for this opportunity to be able to come out here and play the game that we love. We are grateful and we are thankful for the opportunity. We ask that you watch over both teams today, that they can have a safe and injury-free game. We ask that you be with TMU as they travel back home and that you just be with us for the rest of the day. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last peeping whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night 
That'll conclude today's pregame festivities. Of course, we're going to play game number one here on the turf. Then we're going to switch gears and move it over to the dirt, which is over here to our right behind us and KCU's traditional home field. So while KCU takes a little infield, umpires take their places and we get things situated. We'll take one more break. When we come back, we'll play a little softball here in Grayson on the Cool Hit Sports Network. J.D. Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat J.D. Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call J.D. Flooring and Greenup 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring. 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CDs. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one of the library locations to place a hold. There are community meeting rooms available by reservation at all locations for clubs and organizations. And be sure to check out the Jesse Stewart Collection at the Greenup County Branch. Check them out on Facebook and Twitter. Back out here on Cool TV, looking at both teams' lineups. First, for the home team, the KCU Knights. Of course, a lot of firepower in that senior class that we are celebrating here today. Now let's look at the visitors of TMU. It's a very good team, 21-14 on the year, 15-7 in conference, uh, only 5-9 and nine on the road, though. So something to keep note. I think it's also important to keep note of um, looking at the field. Coming up the bat. That this is not a traditional layout. If you look at the field, second base is actually maybe about 10 feet behind. Or, no, it'll be about 25 feet behind where the first pitch is going to be thrown momentarily to Graham of TMU. Umpires take their positions. Coaches have their positions. And we're ready for the first pitch here on Senior Day. So this is high, 1-0. Oh. Good-looking pitch, one and one. This one fouls straight back. One and two's the count to Graham. O'Brien's on deck, followed by Chronic and Boatwright. Apparently, maybe trying to get some, trying to read some hand signals from the pitcher over to the dugout. Here's some instruction from. Here's a pitch. This one is a sign, two and two. Although the weather is pretty nice, Jacob, other than the wind. You gotta think how much is the sun a factor because it's right on the top of us, and you gotta think that you know, there's not a lot of girls out there that are wearing those sunglasses. This one, a good looking pitch. Count goes full. Graham is. She knows what kind of pitch she wants. Here it is. This one swung on a miss. Graham goes down on strikes, and there's one away here in the top of the first. Coming up the bat, number 16, Jenna O'Brien. Here is O'Brien. This is a very powerful TMU lineup that can put a bunch of runs on you quick. 
Really good sign. This one's golfed into left field. O'Brien will have a single with one out here in the top of first. Coming up to bat, number 11, Haley Cronick. Here is Cronick. Cronick, Boatwright, Gibson, Folds. Those are, uh, you know, you, you talked about those girls, some of the best in the conference in the heart of this lineup. Here's the pitch. This one is hit and foul, just barely over to the right down the first baseline. If that ball stays fair, it's at least a double for O'Brien. It's kind of it's kind of odd looking at the field the way it's it's made right now because you've got second base midway between s traditional second base and the pitching mound, and third base is nearly halfway up the third baseline. And they do this because I think that the field behind us has not been not ready yet is what we were told. I'm not sure. Of course, we don't know. We're just going by what we were told. O'Brien singles. Chronic hits this one straight up in the air. This is the one we talked about, Jacob. Tough play in the sun, and that play is made by the right fielder who traveled a very long way. Here comes Boat Rides. So a two way in the top of first and runner on first. Ideally, here, Jacob, you want a fly ball in the infield. This one's fouled just, just out of play. You want a ground ball in the infield. Or you can just get old-fashioned strikeout. You don't want anything to get in the gap. This one's hit hard in the center field. Back is the center fielder. Tracking, tracking, and that'll end the top half of the first. We'll head to the bottom of the first when we come back here on Tool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start the bottom half of inning number one. TMU able to get one hit, one base runner. And that is all. A couple flyouts and a strikeout ended all hope for getting any runs Coming in the top the half back. of the first. Number nine, Kylie Mathis. Here comes Mathis. Lavis Prince, Holtzclaw, Breckler due up in this bottom half of any number one. Here's first pitch. This one misses outside, 1-0. I tell you what, I'd be scared to death to be up there at the plate. I mean, this girl, can she's got some heat behind that tub. This one's called strike on the inside part of the plate, and they call it a softball. It's everything but soft. Speed pitch misses high, two and one. This one's 
foul. Way out of play, two and two. I think it's important for KCU to get a good start. Uh, if you go back and look at their losses they've had on the year and look at the box score, it's them falling behind early. A lot of the times it's not, you know, it, and it seems like, I know this sounds cliche, but when they get a good start, whether it's just one or two runs, that's usually a good sign for the rest of the day. This one's a light little chopper over to first base. They got her. Good play by the second baseman. Tough play. Even a tougher throw to scoop. Coming first baseman at a dime. I think that's a good sign for KCU. Keep putting the ball in play, and you'll get base runners. Mathis grounds out. Here comes Lavis with Prince on deck. Call strike right down the pipe. 0 and 1. We wouldn't know what to do with ourselves if we actually came here and it wasn't windy. This is high, one and one. Off speed pitch, called strike. Of course, we got games going all around the Cool Hits family of networks as I believe our good friend James Collier's down at Raceland. And then uh, either Dickie or Kent's got the Tri State Showcase. So this one misses just outside, but I think that Lavis knows she can't take the, that pitch again. She takes that pitch again, she's going to go down and strikes. And I think she does that. She's a smart hitter. And look for TMU to go right to the same spot again. They did. Good job by Lavis. Found that one off. With the count being two and two, Jacob, with a pitch to burn, essentially, look for that off-speed pitch right here. The dangers of that off-speed pitch, if it hangs too long, though, it might end up over the fence. Oh, foul straight back at you. You didn't even flinch. See, our good friend Travis always flinches. He could be fouled over there towards East Carter's high school, and he could, he'd flinch. Of course, we kid because we care. Still two and two after a couple foul balls here. This will miss us high. Count goes full. And even if you don't get a hit here, I think it's a good at bat because you're you're making the pitcher work a little bit. And the pitch count goes up. It's a solid at bat here for Lavis. Still alive. They're really trying to work that outside part of the plate. count. I believe this might be the 10th pitch. Fouled away. I think that probably would have been ball four. So here comes the 11th pitch of this at bat for Lavis. will miss us high. Levis will grab first base on the 11th pitch at bat and draws the walk. Here comes Prince. Of course, I was just notified by my producer that Prince hit two home runs yesterday. So a very confident Prince at the plate with a runner on.
called strike on one. Quickly, 0 and 2. Only one away, runner on first. Off speed pitch is hit and it's past everybody. Lavis will go to second. Prince will be on with a single. Coming up to hit, number 28, Jaron Holtzclaw. Here's Holtzclaw. That wasn't hit particularly very hard, Jacob, but it was hit hard enough to where second baseman couldn't get to it. So now if you're KCU, you're cooking. You got two on, one out. Holtzclaw at the plate. He's been hitting the ball pretty well lately. one lightly hit over to the first baseman to the second baseman who flips it to the first baseman there's two away but the runners do advance coming up to hit number 16 Tori Breckler and here comes Breckler with two on two out you get one of the gap here it's two nothing put it what it is This one's a light chopper, tough play. Shortstop comes over and makes the play. KCU strands two runners, still tied at zero. We'll start the top of the second when we come back here on Cool TV. Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Borders Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start the top of the second inning. Gibson folds. Gibson will be at the plate, folds will be on deck. Coming up to bat, number 22, Kendall Gibson. This one misses everything. It's even the catcher's mitt and goes way over the top for ball one. You're starting to see the trees 
become a little bit more greener behind us in front of us, Jacob. It's a sure sign that the cold days are almost behind us. Of course, you talked about yesterday how you guys almost froze to death. I didn't know how extreme it was. This one, this is also 2-0. Until I walked in and Dave Manning goes, you should have been here yesterday. We almost didn't make it. It was so cold. And I said, well, we've been down here when it's been real cold before. This one, this is also 3-0. The thing about down here, it's not that it's real cold. There's just nothing to block the wind. No hills, no, not even really a whole lot of homes. This one misses. So four straight pitches. Coming up the bat. Number and Gibson four, will grab first Foles, base. Foles. Here comes Foles. the bunt draws the attention of the KCU infield quickly pulls it back now lays down the bunt tough play flip over to first not in time everybody's going to be safe it was a tough play Coming up the bat, number three, Emma Suter. Tried to just flick it over to first base, couldn't get it done. It was a bang bang play. So now, TMU will have two on with no outs. That go down in my book as an infield single. That's that's tough. I mean, there was no bad throws or anything. I think it's an infield single, don't you? Two on, no outs. TMU. Bunt laid down foul. Good job there by the third baseman coming and killing it in foul territory. This bunt is laid down. It's going to be fair. Throw to first, and they got her, but the runners do advance. Good job by the shortstop over there covering third base. Coming up to hit, number well, she doesn't stop that bouncer. It goes all the way to the fence, and at least one run scores. So sacrifice bunt. Here comes Abner. It's refreshing to see teams play, you, you know, I guess as what you would call it, uh, strategic. Small ball. It's small ball, but it, it's strategic. Uh, it's it's a lost art. And usually when you see that, teams are trying to win. And the Cincinnati Reds do not do that. This one fouled out of play. Smart play getting the runner at first, though, and. TMU is threatening with two on, two and runner, two runners in scoring position, and only one away here in the top half of inning number two. Abner at the plate, only one's the count. Here on senior day. Time called by Abner. This is a beautiful facility out here, though, Jacob, for Gracie Sports Park. The people involved here and people who take care of it do a great job. This one pulled foul. So 0-2 is the count. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This one misses high. Good job there by the Catcher, I believe that was Prince. Pulled up and grabbing that one. Just, you know, if the ball gets past the catcher, it's a long way back to that P 
heat to the backstop. Another foul ball. Two is the count. Two on with one out. Here's a pitch. It's hit over the first baseman. She does a smart play. She checks the runner, goes over and touches first, and there's two away. Here comes Number Sullivan. Five, Isabel Sullivan. So Sullivan will be at the play. Graham. Sits on deck. That is your top of the lineup who struck out her last time. We get about a 25 mile an hour wind gust right now. This one misses low. 1 0. Of course, TMU coming in 21 and 14 on the year, 15 in conference, but 5 and 7 on the road. 12 and 2 at home. Also 2 0. This one misses also 3 0. Base will be loaded as Sullivan gets a walk on four straight pitches. And here comes Graham with the bases loaded. So like we said, she did strike out her last time. So it looks like we've got time called, and we're going to get a substitution in there. Coming up the bat, number seven. So it looks like we got a pitch hitter. So it looks like this will be Rachel Morgan. Yes, okay. So seven will be at the plate, which is Morgan. Commerce, Georgia. So, bases will be loaded. Tough spot. Two outs. In case you would nothing like nothing more than a, a pop up or a ground ball here. First pitch misses high. Want to know? This is low, so now you've got six straight pitches. They've all been balls here, but the bases are loaded. There's nowhere for anybody to go. You definitely don't want to walk in the run. I think you're just going to have to pitch and, and let them put it in play. I think you got to live or, or die. This is just the way it is. This one misses also 3-0, and and there's no way Morgan's swinging on this pitch. TMU's completely content with getting a run walked in. This one misses, ball four. So the last eight pitches have been balls. Morgan will grab first base, and here comes O'Brien, who singled her last time.
Uh, Graham is actually going to run over there at first base instead of Morgan. At the plate is O'Brien. Like we said, single their last time up. A single here might score two. Here's a pitch. This one misses high and inside, 1-0. is also 2-0. This one looks good. 2-1. Runners going. The ball gets away from Prince on the low pitch. And it's now 2 to nothing. TMU. 3 1's the count. And O'Brien's going to draw the walk. Coming up the bat, number 11, Harley Chronic. Here comes Chronic. She flew out her last time up. Sunny skies back. I can only see a couple clouds in the sky. Of course, all week it seemed like it rained every single day. And yesterday, you guys were out in elements, kind of spit rain. It was very cold and windy. And but it's all cleared out. And looking at the forecast tomorrow, and at least the three or four days, it looks like it's going to be in the low 80s every single day. So Here is the pitch. This one misses. 1 0. And this is also 2 0. Bases are loaded. 2 0. Not a whole lot of damage done yet. You, you know. If you're KCU, you, you know you're going to have to score a couple runs to win anyway. So, very important not to walk in another run here. This one popped up in the air, shortstop underneath it, and makes the play. Exactly what the doctor ordered for KCU. TMU puts two across. Casey, you'll try to match it when we come back here on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb strives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back out here on Cool TV. Ready to start the bottom half of inning number two. Looks like Ison, Blackburn, and Alford will be due up this inning. Coming up at bat, 
number 21, Hannah Ison. If you're Casey, you don't feel like you have to match the top of second from TMU, but you'd like to get a couple people on board, on, on the bags. You'd like to uh, make this a 20-plus pitch inning for TMU. Off-speed pitch. This one misses. 101. One, this one misses low. This one a hard hit, grounder, and then everybody's going to be safe. They're not going to get her in time. Good job by Ison running that one out. Coming up to bat, number seven, Ashton Blackburn. You have to score that as an air, Jacob. Because uh, if it's fielded cleanly, she probably gets thrown out. Good job by Ison running that one out. Swearing to bunt. Now throw down a second. They've got her in a rundown. And they're going to get her at first base. So maybe a mix-up. I think that they thought Blackburn was going to lay down the bunt, but she was unable to. The pitch was way too high. Maybe TMU kind of snuffed that one out. And Ison's going to be thrown out in a rundown, and now there is one away. And this is also two and up. Two and one as this one catches the inside part of the plate. This one a very high fly ball in the shallow left field, and the play is made. So there's two away now as Blackburn flies out. Number 13, Mallory. Alford. And here is Alford. Called strike. Just caught that outside part of the plate. A place that TMU's liked all day long, whether it's been a left or a right-handed batter. And this is one on one. How much do you trust that net, Jacob? You really had a screaming foul ball just off the very top of the bat come right back at the equipment. How much are you willing to risk to save the equipment? He said he wasn't even moved. Just realize where you stand now, buddy. Counts one and two. I thought she got a piece of it, but she didn't. And that'll end inning number two. 
Still 2 0, and TMU leads. We'll head to the top of the third when we come back here on Cool TV. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answer to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Leading off this top part of inning number three for TMU, who leads 2 nothing. Boatwright, Gibson, Fold are due up. And the pitch, good looking pitch there. 0 oh 1. Misses one and one. And this is also two and one. Straight up in the air and very shallow. Just gonna stay in the infield. Second baseman makes the play. Coming up to bat. There's one away. Here comes Gibson who walked her last time. Folds on deck who singled. So misses one and up. Is also two and oh. Good pitch there, two and one. is low, three and one. That's called strike, count goes full. Big pitch here. Get two down with no on. That's big time. And it just misses too low. And coming up to bat, number four, Grace Fold. Gibson will grab first base for a walk or second of the day. Here comes Folds, who singled her last time up. Want to know? It's 
I two and oh. Here's a two oh. This one good looking pitch, two and one. Another good looking pitch there, two and two. This one just caught the inside part of the plate. This one fouled out of play. One misses. Count goes full. So after getting the leadoff batter to fly out, the last thing you want to do is put two on with one out. I think you just got to live or die with the fastball here, right down the middle. Let him. Casey does, and this is fouled out of play. I think you throw the same pitch, Jacob. Make him put it in play. Good looking pitch. Foul away again. So back to back. So you, can, the placement is right. It's just maybe the timing's just a little off there. So look for an inside fastball here. There it is, strike three called on the inside fastball. Really good pitch there. Here comes Seward, who sacrificed bunt at her last time. They threw outside, outside, outside. She kept fouling it off and went inside on that fastball and can't take that pitch on a full count. Another good looking pitch there. Strike called. Maybe starting to get into a little groove here. Oh, nasty pitch there. Count goes 0 and 2. Oh, this one misses just outside. Oh, strike three called. Another inside fastball. That'll end the top of the third. We'll head to the bottom of the third. We come back here on Cool TV. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osman Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osman Pharmacy and Grill today. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. 
When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let ANA Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs, whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event. ANA Porta Potties are here to assist you. ANA Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. ANA Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Cool TV. We're having to grab the TV a little bit. And camera's threatening to go over a couple times. Well, we think we've got the setup to where if it does grab it for a second, it should stay in place. Coming up to number two, Savannah Watson. So Watson, Leva, and the top line of Mathis do up this bottom half of any number three. Casey was trying to get something going here. Give up and hit, showing one. This one hit over to the first baseman, and it's going to get past everybody. So Watson will be on with a single. Coming up. Grounded out her last time. Wearing a bunt. This one misses high. Want to know. Bunt laid down, fouled back. say she went on the bun attempt so one and two now this one misses two and two inside full count now with no outs and a runner on first math is trying to put two aboard Lavis and Prince do up this one misses Casey okay, so you'll have two on with no out coming up to hit number 27 Caitlin Lavis Time is going to be called. Just when you think the wind's about to die down, we get about a 40 mile an hour gust. Which the temperature is great. It's a beautiful, I mean, typical spring day in eastern Kentucky. Quick, clear, sunny skies. About 65 degrees, but I tell you, the UV rays are way high. You're gonna be burnt when you get home. <laughs> we need to get you some sunglasses. That's true. So 
two on, no out. Here comes Lavis. Walked her last time. Squares the bunt, bunt's laid down, and a diving catch is made in foul territory. Third baseman did a really good job charging the bunt. The ball just popped up just enough where she was in her reach, and there's one away. The bat, number 17, AC Prince. Here comes Prince, singled her last time up. Did have two home runs yesterday. Trying to make it three in two days here. It would give the Knights the lead. This was a hard hit ball in the left field. It's going to get down one hop to the left fielder, and everybody's going to be safe. Well, I tell you what, that ball hit the wind. That's what happened. That thing just died in midair. So here's Holtzclaw grounded out her last time. Bases will be loaded with a Prince single. It looked like initially that ball was going to go a lot further. But the wind, of course, is coming from our left to right. So if it's coming out of left field, I mean, it just killed it right in the middle of the air. Holds claw with the bases loaded and one away. Here's the pitch. This one misses. One and oh. TMU fans over here to our left, not happy about that one, but that was an obvious miss, I thought, didn't you? Here's the pitch. This one misses high. 2 0. You got to score here, even if it's just one run for Casey. You got to score here. Can't leave three runners stranded. This one misses high also, 3-0. and oh. Here's a 3-0 pitch right down the middle, 3-1. Three and one. This one fouled away. Count goes full. one's golf in the shallow left field. It's going to get down. One run will score. Everybody's going to be safe. It'll go down as an RBI single for Holtzclaw. Coming up to hit number 16, Tori Breckler. Here comes Breckler with the base of load. Casey has struck. It's now two to one. That's more hits on the day than TMU. We're still trailing on the scoreboard by one run. Breckler trying to change that right here. Breaking ball in there for strike. 0 and 1. This one popped up in the air. There's second baseman underneath it and quickly two away. Here comes Ison, reached on an air last time. Coming up to hit number 21, Hannah Ison. Side one and zero. Oh. 
Oh, they're going to call a strike. Ooh, I don't know. What do you think? Do they think it's a strike? 50-50, not sure. He called a strike, so it's a strike, I guess. 0-1. Thought it was inside, yeah. personally. And this is high, 1-1. This one called strike. One and two. We get time called. one white grounder over to third base and the play is made in case you able to get one across though it's two to one tmu leads kcu we'll be back on cool tv when you want real authentic mexican menu items you want tres hermanos nunez except no substitutes none compares fajitas tacos burritos quesadillas chimichangas even vegetarian choices a kid's menu desserts and salads at Tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Reyes Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Where does your money go? When you bank with us, your deposit becomes your neighbor's loan. A real estate agent sells a house. They get a commission. They deposit it with us. We use it to make an auto loan to one of our customers. Hometown people helping each other grow. That's what it's all about. First in People's Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC. We are the home office. Back out here on Cool TV, two to one. TMU leads over KCU as we start the top of the fourth inning. So it should be Abner, Sullivan, and top of the lineup, which is Morgan. Coming Just up checked in for Graham. Kelly Abner. the way also. One and two now. Here's a one two. Breaking ball. White chopper over the first baseman who makes the tag and there's one away. Coming up to hit, number five, Isabel Sullivan. Let me get 
Sullivan walked her last time up. One and oh. We're in the top of the fourth. Two to one. TMU leads over KCU. This one fouled out of play. Golfed in between center and right field. Center fielder runs it down. Good play by her. Number 12, and quickly Rebecca two away. Graham. Yeah, Sullivan will fly out. Top of the lineup. And here comes Graham who's checked back in. She struck out her only time at the plate today. This will be the third time through the lineup. Of course, Morgan was at the plate. The last time through, and she walked. Swung on a miss, 0 and 1. Quickly, 0 and 2. one. It's going to stay in play. Shortstop makes the play. Good play there by Ison, running that one down. No runs, no hits. We'll head to the bottom half of inning number four when we come back here on Cool TV. Primary Plus is celebrating 40 years of its mission of quality advanced affordable health care. With over 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and our patients. The Primary Plus name means primary care plus so much more. Offering extended services such as women's health, pediatrics, dental, counseling, diabetes management, infusion services, and on-site pharmacy that offers free delivery. Primary Plus believes in connecting health care for you and your family and is always welcoming new patients. Learn more at primaryplus.net. If you can picture yourself in a better job and a better life, there are thousands of openings in Kentucky right now. And with the Work Ready Kentucky Scholarship, you can prepare for many of them tuition free. Go to Ashland Community and Technical College. This scholarship offers 100% free tuition for classes that can prepare you for a great job in healthcare, advanced manufacturing, and more in as little as 13 weeks. Get started today at WorkReadyKentucky.com. Back out here on Cool TV. Number seven, Ashton Blackburn. Blackburn, Alfred, and Watson do up this inning. That was good. Oh, and one. One misses. One and one. Also, two and one. Two and one, the Blackbird. Make it three and one.
This was a hard hit ball in the left field. Back, back, back. One hop and hits the fence. Blackburn rounds first. She'll be in there for a stand-up double. Coming up to hit number 13, Mallory Alford. the butt and this is outside one no it's wearing the butt and it's gonna be a good one it's just gonna die and everybody's gonna be safe a little confusion right there between the first baseman, the catcher, and the pitcher. Coming up to bat, number two, Savannah Watson. So that'll go down as an infield single. For now, two on. With no outs, and here comes Watson, who singled her last stop. Killed it, and it's 0 and 1. Runner over on first base. Bun again. Down goes two and one, I suppose. It's wearing a bun again. This one's a foul ball. They're trying to get the runner from first and second to second and third. But now, with two strikes, you just don't bunt. Can't risk it. TCU with a good chance to tie this game at two. If one finds the gap in the outfield. Swung on a miss, and Watson will go down on strikes. Coming up to hit. Top of the lineup. Number nine, Kylie Mathis. And here comes Mathis, who is grounded out and walked today. Officially 0 of 1.
in a bunch. That's Mathis. This one misses though, one on one. This one called strike. I guess it was fouled off and caught by the catcher. Swing, I'm not sure. No, uh, something happened there because the umpire actually called, you know, pointed at it. Our view was kind of blocked that time. Two on, one out. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. It's a light grounder to the second baseman who throws over to first. I don't think they got her. Oh, they called her out. I don't know about that one. What do you think, Jacob? You're the umpire. Bang, bang. He had a better view than we did. Coming up to hit, number 27, Caitlin Lavis. Lavis. It did advance both runners, if anything. I don't know. I think she's safe. Pitch called strike. Ball is one. Okay. This is outside one one. straight back at our camera. Thank goodness that net was working good there. Really? Count is one and two. Two away. KCU hoping not to strand two more runners. Here's the pitch. This is a hard hit. Ball's going to get through. One run scores. Rounding third and coming home. Two run scores. KCU has the lead at three to two. On a two run RBI single. Coming up to hit number 17, AC Prince. Here comes Prince, who has two singles on the day. You're talking about. Somebody who's very confident at the plate, and it's Prince. Fouled out of play. Strike also 0 oh 2. This one's hit straight up the middle. Tough play for everybody. And everybody's safe. The runner from second gets to. Excuse me, the runner from first gets the second. That was Lavis. So Prince will be, I'm not sure. I guess it would be another single, wouldn't it? Fielder's choice. I don't think so, because there was a runner on first, wasn't there? Yeah, so it would have been a force. But that, I don't know, but it's only a field of choice if they get the out. 
they didn't get the out. Looks like we're going to get a pitching change for TMU while they get warmed up and everybody gets situated. We'll take a break. We'll be back on Cool TV. <laughs> Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporty Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Berkeley, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporty Goods, US 60 West, in Ashland. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Back out here on Cool TV, Holtz Claw at the plate. A runner at first and second. KCU has put two across here in the bottom half of inning number four and currently leads three to two. Foul. One two is the count with two away here in the bottom of the fourth. This one misses inside. Two and two. Long on a miss. Holtz goal goes down on strikes. But not after KCU puts two more across the plate. They have the lead, three to two. We'll be back on Cool TV. I'm April Perry, the CEO of Kentucky Farmers Bank. On average, our employees have been with Kentucky Farmers Bank for over 10 years, and that is important to you and us. We want you to know who you are dealing with. Whether you are financing a new home, buying a car, or remodeling your kitchen, Kentucky Farmers Bank is the better bank. For all your needs. Kentucky Farmers Bank, the better bank for all your financial needs since 1931. Located in Ashland, Summit, and Catlettsburg. KentuckyFarmersBank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. Back out here on Cool TV. Ready to start the top of inning number five, three to two, KCU lead. Of course, this is game one of two. We'll switch fields and go over to the dirt field and have a senior day festivities over on the field right behind us, Jacob. Of course, we were told that the field was not ready Coming up to hit, number 16, Jenna O'Brien. But here we are in the fifth inning. Nothing's changed over there. I haven't seen anybody over there, so maybe I'm wrong. Can't really see. It's kind of a blocked view. So at the plate is O'Brien. So this is high, one and up.
pitch there. One and one. This one's golfed in the left field. It's gonna get down for O'Brien. We'll have a single. Our second one of the day. He's now two for two on the day after walking back in the third Coming inning. Coming up the bat, number 11, Haley Cronick. Here is Cronick who's flown out twice. thing I could think of is maybe question about the lineup. on first, no outs. But laid down foul. Boatwright sits on deck, who has also flown out twice today. So Chronic and Boatwright 0 for 2. Runner goes. And they got her. Sure did. What a throw by Prince. So now it counts one and one to Chronic. Long on a miss, make it one and two. Counts as two and two, this one misses high. Full now. This one's low and outside. This is a hard hit ball. That's fair. Well, the umpire over there said it was fair. <laughs> Looks like that to me, didn't he, Jacob? Pointed it, he had his right hand all the way on the right side. Our view was blocked, so we were just looking at him. So that's what we're going to call a foul ball. This one's fouled out of play. Jacob thinks that ball was fair. That's what I thought the umpire said. Maybe I mean, his, ar his arm definitely was pointing towards the infield. So here's the pitch. A popper. This is going to be in no man's land. It's going to get down. Take a weird bounce. Rounding first and going to second is Chronic. Coming up to hit, number 10. I think that'll go down to the double. Here comes Boatwright. It's one on and one out. Pitch runner. 
Low and it gets past Prince. Runner will go from second to third. This one's hit very hard in the center field. They may look this one, and it is gone. They ain't going to catch that one. So Boatwright with a two-run shot, and now TMU leads 4-3. to three. And probably the longest part of the field. Center fielder attracted momentarily, just looked up Coming and kind of turned away. Here comes Gibson, walked twice today. is also 2 and 0. Oh. I think the only cloud that Eastern Kentucky is over top of us right now. This one misses. So Gibson will have her third walk of the day. Coming up the bat. Here comes Number Foles. Four, Gracie Foles. Who has a single but did strike out her last time. Well, Tim working on that field over there. That one's marked over there, Jacob, but they didn't cut the grass or anything on the field behind us, so it should be good to go. So it's interesting to see what they're going to do. This one misses. called 101. This one popped up. It's in play. And it just hits off the pole. Prince was in good position. Just couldn't buy any more space over there as it hits the net. So Counts one or two. This one misses, and she didn't go. Thank you. 
For a foul. I hit the top of the dugout. Nope, somebody caught it over there. This was a hard hit ball. Good stop by the third baseman, Watson. Throw to first, not in time. Coming up to hit, number three, Emmy Suter. Here's Suter, a sacrifice bunt. Back at inning number two, did strike out her last time though. Jacob says hit, I say air. What do you think? I mean, honestly, this one's chopped over to the shortstop, turns one, no throw at first though. Really good play out there by the shortstop. And with two away, you can, you know, all throws go to first to in the infield. 13, Ellie Abner. Here comes Abner, who has two ground outs on the day. I just got a whiff of something good. Somebody's cooking. This one popped right up in the air. KC with an opportunity to get out of this inning, and they will. The top of the fifth does put two more across for TMU on a two-run shot by Boat Rot. KC will go to the bottom half of the fifth, trailing by one here on Cool TV. <laughs> Spring fishing season is just around the corner, and Border Sporting Goods is your fishing headquarters for rods and reels from G. Loomis, St. Croix, Fenwick, Luz, Daiwa, Shimano, and Abu Garcia. No matter what species of fish you are targeting, Borders has the perfect setup to make your next trip on the water a success. Borders has baits in every style and size, with a wide selection of tackle for Bird Loop, Strike King, Zoom, Z-Man, Bandit, and many more. Before hitting the water for your next fishing trip, stop by and stock up at Border Sporting Goods, US 60 West in Ashland. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, seven days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com Back out here on Cool TV. Ready to start the bottom of the fifth. TMU leads four to three. Coming up to hit number 16, Tori Breckler. Here comes Breckler. Call strike, 0 and 1. For misses, 1 and 1. This one's a hard. Grounder, chopper, that's going to bounce right over second base and go past the center fielder, rounding first and going to second is Breckler in there for a stand-up double. Coming up to hit, number 21, Hannah Ison. Here's Ison. 
Reached on the air back in the first. Did have a ground out, though. Substitution here. Looks like we're getting a pinch runner in the second base. Wearing a bun, it's fouled off. Ashton Blackburn. Here comes Blackburn, who had a double her last time. Looks like it's going to be fair there for a second. Still one away. Oh, one's the count. Runner on third. Trailing by one is KCU. We're in the bottom of the fifth of game one. Called strike also. 0 oh 2. Same exact place. Nobody said anything. No, no signal from either umpire. Nobody said foul. Nobody said fair. So they just assumed it was foul. is inside, one and two. This was a hard hit ball. I s did you see a signal from anybody? What did he say, foul? Misses, two and two. I don't think you could take that pitch again. <laughs> this one's hit right to the third baseman, checks the runner, throw to first, and there's two away. Coming up to bat, number 20, Sarah Leila. So in Alfred's position, here comes Leia. First at bat of the game. The runner on third. Big spot here, trying to tie. First pitch, called strike, going one. Swung on a miss.
best. 0 and 2. This one's a chopper over the second baseman, throw to first, and that'll end inning number five. KCU strands a runner, nothing comes across. We'll head to the top of the sixth when we come back here on Cool TV. JD Flooring 2017 Ashland Road Greenup has been family owned and operated for over 30 years, featuring top of the line material, guaranteed installation, and absolutely no one can beat JD Flooring's price. Need to replace your current flooring in one room or the entire house? Call JD Flooring and Greenup. 606-473-0411 for a free estimate. A call that can get your house ready for any occasion. You'll absolutely love your new flooring from J.D. Flooring, 2017 Ashland Road, Greenup. The Greenup County Public Library System is the best. Read the latest bestsellers in large print, regular print, or audio CD. You can also check out movies or place a hold on a book on our website or call one. Sullivan. First pitch calls strike. This is one of one. Sullivan walked her first time up, flew out the last time. Chop down the third baseline. Watson throw to first. There's one away. Coming up to bat, number 12, Rebecca Graham. Here comes Graham, who struck out back in the first inning. With O'Brien on deck. Another foul. 0 oh and 2 quickly. Struck her out. Graham will go down on strikes again, and here comes O'Brien. Does have a single and a walk on the day. This 
is 2 and 0. Oh. on and missed. Two and two. This one hit right to the second baseman. He's going to flick it over to first and there's they're going to call her call her safe. Hmm. He was bang bang, Jacob. I don't know. What do you think? You think she was out? Couldn't see really. This one's found out of play. one hit right to the second baseman throw to first and that'll end the top half of the inning number six we'll head to the bottom of the sixth with Casey still trailing by one when we come back here on cool TV Kentucky Christian University is a private nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs including the teacher leader master of arts in education degree they also have an array of competitive sports Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. is owned and managed by Shane Wallingford to be a solutions provider for manufacturers tailoring to their specialized needs. It was created with a vision that good communication among all parties will provide the best answers to the problem. From ball mills used in pulverization to custom design of equipment or components, JSB Industrial Solutions, Inc. will gladly work with clients to resolve the issues that are prevalent. Their vision is to make your project their successful business. JSB Industrial Solutions, Tollsboro, Kentucky. Back out here on Cool TV, ready to start the bottom half of inning number six. Coming up the bat, number two, Savannah Watson. This one's a hard hit ball. Tough play by the shortstop. Throw her to first. They got her. Up to bat, number nine, Kylie Mathis. Top of the lineup for KCU. Mathis officially 0 for 2 on the day. Two ground outs and a walk to your fourth plate appearance. This is one and up. Down goes two and up. Hard hit ball right back to the pitcher who's going to throw it to first, and there's one away. Here comes Lavis. Coming Two out. Back, number 27, Caitlin Lavis. So Lavis had a two run RBI single 
her last time. Prince sits on deck. Honest with you, Jacob. I really don't know where that one missed at. But it's two one. Swung on and missed. Count goes two and two. ACU down to their final four outs. Hard hit to the second base and makes a really good play. Throw it to first, and that'll end the sixth inning. We'll head to the top of the seventh. ACU still trails four to three when we come back here on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support us in her district in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back out here on Cool TV. Both teams are in their final three outs here. Boat right will be at the plate. Her last time up, she had a two run home run over in right center field. Strike going one. Swung on a miss, oh and two. Hard hit ball right to Watson, who makes a good play. And there's one away. Coming up to bat number 22, Kendall Gibson. Here's Gibson. She has three walks on the day. I'm not sure if Gibson's even seen a strike today. Count goes one and up. This one's a hard hit ball out in left field. It's going to take a one hopper to the left fielder, and Gibson will be on with a single. Coming up to bat number four, Grace Fold. Here comes Fold. Reached on an air last time. Did have a single back in inning number two, but struck out her second time at bat. They change balls out there. Maybe that one may have hit a puddle, waterlogged. Just never know. It's a called strike, going and one. Here 
which is a hard hit ball to Watson. Throw to second. There's one. And there's two away. Force out at second. Watson's been pretty Coming busy over there on third three, base. Emmy Suter. Here comes Suter. Who had a sacrifice bunt her last time, her first time, struck out and grounded out on the day. 0 for 3. Swung on a miss. Count goes 0 and 1. Hard hit ball right to Watson. Watson bobbles for a second throw to first. Got her. KCU will go to the bottom half of inning number seven, needing a run to extend this game. They have three outs to do it. We'll be back on Cool TV. Hello, everyone. I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Osman Pharmacy and Grill, located at 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg, Kentucky, offers fast and friendly service with a hometown feel. Check out their specialty items in person or order them online at osmondpharmacy.com. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill also has daily dinner specials where you can dine in or get your order to go. Stop by or call Osmond Pharmacy and Grill today. Osmond Pharmacy and Grill, 89 2nd Street in downtown Vanceburg. Back out here on Cool TV. KCU has three outs come up with a run at least to extend this game or TMU will take game number one of two. So looks like Prince will be at the plate. Coming up to hit number 17, AC Prince. So the heart of the lineup coming up for the Lady Knights. There's no one more confident at the plate than Prince right now. This is a hard hit ball at the middle. It's going to be a tough play by the shortstop. Throw over to first. And they got her. So Prince first pitch swinging. Grounds out. And here comes Holtzclaw, who does have an RBI single on Coming up to hit number 28, Jaron Holtzclaw. So it was. So this is one of one. Out of play, one and two. Hit over to the third baseman, throw over to first, and there's two away. KCU down to their final out. Coming up to bat number 16, Tori Breckler. Here comes Breckler. One and oh. Count goes one and one. This 
This one hit right in front of the pitcher. He's going to throw to first, and that's going to be your final. TMU has defeated KCU 4-3 to three in game one. We're going to switch gears and move all our equipment back over to the right field behind us. This has been a presentation of Cool TV. Thank you for watching another KCU Knights softball broadcast live on Cool TV. This broadcast of Kentucky Christian University softball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.